evening. <clears throat> it's Quant Trade Edge, and uh, today was a relatively slow day in the market. Uh, you know, pre-holiday trading, there was some whippiness, and I uh, wasn't really paying attention. But there was one thing that caught my eye, and that was on crude oil. There was a really nice uh, rally uh, late morning into the close, and uh, this was a very clean pattern uh, in multiple ways. So the first way we'll look at this pattern is as a divergence. And this is a five minute chart of January crude. And as you know, I like the 14 period RSI as the oscillator of choice to pick out divergences. And I like three legged divergences, you know, three pushes, whatever you want to call it. The first leg of the divergence came here on this move down. RSI was all the way down here at uh, 9.78, or sorry, 10.16. Then the second leg down is right here at 7.20 in the morning, and we had a higher um, low here. This low is 22, this low is 25. Uh, you know, because this closed above this, this is actually the oscillator low. Now, the next point, this is where, you know, it gets a little nuanced, but you know, this low is not lower. This low is not lower. This low is lower down here. So this is the third hump we look at. And that third hump is at 31. So we have three pushes down in price with higher lows in the oscillator. And when this third one turns up, which happened on this bar right here, you could use that as your risk bar. That risk bar was 74.13 by 73.79, so about a 34 cent bar. And 76.82, so around here, 76.82, that would have been 8R. So if you were tracking this precisely and saw that that was the third push, as soon as that turns up, that can be your risk bar. Now, there's another way to look at this entire pattern also. And it's, you know, it's great when there's a confluence of methods. It just gives you more certainty, uh, you know, and can allow you to put on a larger position size, risk more when that happens. But this is also a 2B pattern. This right here is a low at 74.05. And we, this bar breaks below, you get one close below, two closes below, and then this bar heads back up. And you know, on a 2B, the first bar that, that goes under, this one right here with the high of 74.36, that's where you would um, set your buy stop to enter. And that did get ticked right here. So you, you would have got ticked in right here by, the, by a tick, had this little pullback before we rallied. And when you do a 2B pattern, when you're trading it as a 2B, you want your, your stop to be below the low of the move. So that would make it 73.79 by 74.36. So this would be your risk. It's a little more risk than the divergence entry. In fact, it's almost about twice the risk, but it's still achieved 4R and this would have been at about 76, uh, 60 something. So about here, about here is where you would have hit 4R if you entered this as a 2B pattern. And, you know, it's nice to catch things on the bottom here, uh, you know, whether it be the actual bottoming bar on the divergence or this bottom set of bars on the 2B. But if you uh, look at this here, I'm gonna take all these lines away can even take this away. <clears throat> this whole thing down here is a bottoming pattern. And if you were to put a line across here, this high at $75, uh, you know, if you caught it down here, great, but you know, this is one, two, three, four, five, six bars. That's half an hour already, another half an hour. So about, there's an hour and a half of just noise. And granted, this is all in your favor, 
but you can see that where the move really started accelerating and giving you bang for your time is when this bottoming pattern was complete. So when you took out this high at 75, you got immediate action. You know, the first move up to 76, you get a dollar in one, two, three, four bars. Then there was a little pullback and you get another dollar, um, you know, over this hour or so. So, so it all depends on how you want to do it. Um, if you really want to optimize your capital and your time, you can wait for this breakout here. If you just want to set it and forget it as a 2B pattern or as a divergence, you do that also. Um, there's plenty of ways to, uh, you know, to trade this, but uh, these, are, these are the moves that I look at. I always want to find something that gives me a minimum of four times uh, my risk um, and uh, you know, with the potential for more and do that often enough and things compound nicely.